Welcome to our third video in this four-part series featuring Ambassador Michael Gonzalez, where he's answering to questions that you've been asking on the U.S. Embassy Facebook page. In this video, Ambassador Gonzalez is going to be responding to questions regarding the opportunities that you can find in the U.S. And so um, the first question uh, comes from Russell. Uh, and Russell, uh, Russell asks, is the diversity visa application legitimate, Ambassador Gonzalez? Absolutely. Look, fundamentally, America is a country founded by immigrants, and we value that. And the diversity of the world makes the diversity of the United States stronger. So every year, the United States provides uh, immigrant visas for 55,000 people around the world, uh, including from Zambia. Um, and now is the time to apply from uh, October 5th until November 8th. Uh, a couple of important things for Zambians who are interested to know, however, you can only apply through the EDV website, no other mechanisms, and there's no fee. I know that there are lots of others who say that they can get you a, an in, but you apply, you apply once on EDV, no fee, um, and hopefully uh, you can add to the, the richness of American society. Well, thank you so much. We, we move on. Pentalo Lombe Chikwanda asks, how are you going to help Zambian youths to access the U.S. academic scholarships? So the U.S. Embassy itself doesn't provide scholarships, but what we do provide is support to Zambians who want to study in the United States to help them identify where do I look, where do I begin with the more than 3,800 colleges and universities across the United States? How do I apply? And through the American Embassy Education USA programs, we can help uh, students find the right school, the right program for themselves, to pursue the application process. And for particular students who show strong uh, cap uh, capacity here, we work very closely with them to help them through the application process. Thank you so much. We move on. Uh, Twambo Chikoye asks, what initiatives do you plan to prioritize in the non-formal education space? So in the non-formal education space, the American uh, Embassy has a couple of American corners, including this American center here at the Embassy. But we've got a corner uh, here in Lusaka at NIPA, uh, also uh, up north in the Copper Belt at Copper Belt University, um, where Zambians can come and access uh, digital media and, and uh, books, uh, databases uh, to uh, pursue research or inform themselves. Uh, we also engage in a variety of uh, programs uh, from entrepreneurship uh, to thematic issues and target of opportunities. And we have American visitors uh, coming from Washington, uh, certainly trying to promote uh, STEM, the uh, science technology uh, education. Um, and then finally, the, the ben one of the benefits of the COVID era is to demonstrate um, just how much we can do without being in direct personal contact. And so the opportunities for virtual programming and sharing of information are, are grand and something that uh, our team is going to be looking to expand. Uh, Mumbi Chisanga Bineo asks, Ambassador, can you tell us the plans and solutions your embassy has to the people of Zambia who may wish to request for funding in form of grants? Sure. Um, so all of our grant funding is available online, so keep an eye on the Embassy's Twitter or Facebook page. Um, but be sure to read the fine print. Make sure that you know what the opportunity is for and what the requirements are, because each different grant or funding opportunity may be for a different uh, focus area or have different requirements. So make sure that you uh, are responsive to the, the solicitation, that you understand it, um, and are showing some, some dynamism and, and really active in how you or what you are proposing can add value to what the U.S. Embassy is doing in partnership with Zambia. Thank you so much. On that note, we wrap up this series. Make sure to join us for the next episode that will specifically look at democracy and security issues. I have been your host, Onisha Smamba. Thank you.